So let's talk about uh, the self energy of a solid non conducting sphere. Let's say if I have a, a solid sphere which is non conducting of uh, let's say some radius r and having a uniform charge available in it with charge in density as uh, rho coulomb per meter cube, right? So if I want to accumulate charge onto this solid sphere, then how will I do it? I will start uh, pushing in dq dq charge continuously onto this sphere. At first, I'll uh, uh, put the charge onto this small region. Then I'll put charge in this region accumulated here. Then I'll accumulate it in the outer surface, and then here. And this way, the charge, uh, the region with charge, will go on increasing, or the charge, with, the region with charge, will uh, uh, continuously rise. Right. So uh, let's say if uh, I have accumulated already charge Q within this uh, spherical region. This green spherical region of radius x. The charge available in, in this spherical region will be the volume of sphere into charge density. So that is 4 by 3 pi x cube, 4 by 3 pi x cube into rho. Now, what I am trying to do is I am trying to push more dq charge onto this sphere in this periphery. This green periphery, right? I bring uh, dq charge and accumulate it just on the outer surface of this uh, sphere, shaded sphere, black shaded sphere, and this charge, dq charge, will get accumulated in this green thin spherical region. So this dq can be written as 4 pi x square dx into rho. Now, if I have to write energy. Of this Q and DQ, some interaction energy of this Q and DQ, then I can simply write potential due to this Q into this charge DQ. We already know that interaction energy between charge 1 and charge 2, charge 1 and charge 2 is simply is simply first charge into potential due to second at this position or second charge into potential due to first charge in this position so this way i can get the potential energy of this system of charges of q1 q2 right so if i want to calculate the interaction potential energy of this dq with this uh, already available charge q then that will be kq by x into charge which is 4 pi x square into dx into rho right now uh, if i put the value of uh, q then I can simply write it as k q by x into 4 pi x square dx into rho. This q is 4 by 3 pi x cube into rho. Right? So k by x into 4 pi rho 4 by 3 pi rho x cube into x square and let's put this x here into dx and its integration k 4 pi let's multiply this 4 pi with the p in denominator and in numerator into 4 by 3 pi rho rho this is uh, x to the power 4 which will get integrated to x to the power 5 by 5 with limit 0 to r so it will become r to the power 5 by 5 now let's uh, multiply this with r divide with r now I can see that this 4 by 3 pi this is r to the power 6 which will uh, be distributed as r cube into r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho is charge charge capital Q right capital Q was 4 by 3 pi capital R cube into rho this was charge so here I can uh, 
create q and one more q q square so 3 k q square by 5 and r by 5 r so this is the self energy of that solid sphere right if now if somebody ask me here i can see that the uh, energy available in this solid sphere is stored within this region inside the uh, sphere as well as outside the sphere now somebody ask me what is the self energy stored just outside only outside the solid sphere in this region in this region in this region then the self energy stored only in the outside is actually equal to the self energy of the conducting or the hollow sphere right so the self energy stored just outside this solid sphere is simply kq square by 2r which result is this result is exactly same as that of the result obtained in case of hollow sphere there also the energy stored was simply kq square by 2r where q was the charge of the sphere and if somebody ask me what is the energy stored only inside then if i say that this is the total energy total self energy stored inside plus outside then i have noted that this is the self energy stored outside only then the energy stored only inside will be simply p by 5 kq square by r minus kq square by 2r so this will give me kq square by 10 r so this is the self energy stored only inside why i am saying that self energy is stored in this region or in this region actually this energy is stored in the form of electric field and here i can see that the electric field is available outside the sphere so energy is stored outside the sphere as well as electric field is present in non conducting sphere inside as well so energy will also be stored in the electric field within the solid sphere right so this electrostatic potential energy or self energy or interaction energy is always stored in the form of electric field so wherever the electric field is present the energy or the self energy or the interaction energy will also be present right so this energy is simply uh, uh, in next lecture i'll be telling you uh, how uh, this energy gets stored in the form of electric field so for this time you can simply uh, remember that the energy stored only inside is this energy stored only outside is this and the total energy is simply the sum of these two sum of these two right this is 0.5 kq square by r this is 0.1 kq square by r and this is simply 0.5 plus 0.1 that is 0.6 kq square by r right which is the which is actually the addition of the addition of these two results